you need to replenish. And that's Africa taken care of. Spanish having fun down there. Let's just bring you over. Just because we can, really. Otaki! And we got... Where are they getting the reinforcements from from this? We can see all around. Where are they getting them from? I just saw a 15 go in there, and that wasn't trained. Yeah, do you see that? Just watch. He's getting troops from somewhere. Get in there. Let's not leave one of these French curs left alive. We've got Rousseau, we've got Ursula. We've got Delon. We can actually move out the first line then. Uh, you need some more time. Let's be fair, you need replacing, but that's a matter for another time. Uh, let's keep moving up. You need a lot more replenishment. Holy hell. I guess that's what you get for not having tanks or a decent build, I guess. Are you actually enemy? No. I can't click down. It's annoying because I have to alt tab out in order to sort that out. And if I get that alt tabbed, then the recording plays up. I actually like how this is going so far. I don't want to restart. So I need to remember it's these. Yeah, okay. I can live with that for a bit. French have uh, almost been fully pushed out. I forget if we take this, they will be. Uh, CSA should be coming over at any time. Well, there's Sicily. I, I can't believe the Sicilians are helping me out because we started off as enemies. They were the guys who seized Australia, for God's sake. Ooh, well, well, yeah. like, uh, Once we get gas defense, that flips their thing on its head. Uh, head here. And when you finish there, you can go up and gauge. There you go, go. So violence, meh. Oh, oh, I see. Just go and help out. The USA wants military access. <laughs> All right, what are you doing here, America? You are at war with New England. Nah. Just, just, just no. Ah, uh, the New English could be in trouble, though. Especially if France helps out. Uh, push for the line. Where are you going? Nantes. Go and help out. Just crush the bugger. Uh, you're nearly replenished, so you go to Montpellier. And you need a lot. Actually, not even that. I think you've lost a ton. Go to Carcassonne. Ah, there's a lot of regiment ladies names. <laughs> Just blame the natives! That's what, that's the British thing to do. Hello. Charleville. And we should be good to take this. Oh, if that doesn't happen, obviously. What happened here? Now it's in our favour, where you're willing to. Angers. Uh, Angers is this one? Yeah. Chase them down. Surprised we're chasing them down with Mark IVs, but... <clears throat> to be fair, I think this is the female tank. No, it's all the extra sponsons. Shouldn't have these. Oh wait, that's the that's the fortress. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's the female tank because you can see the side sponsons, but can, there's no main gun, so it's basically going to do machine guns. All right, wait. 
Am I on the run or are they on the run? They are on the run. 20... Leave you two behind. And uh, where you run into. Rouen. Get them. Lost in Kirkus. They got that out fast. Looks like I know where their main force has been hiding this whole time. Alright, go support the south. We need it right now. Should be able to break through their line easy enough. Paris, hell? I haven't got a siege down yet. Where are they running to? Go take them on. Just keep fighting them. We're, we are beating them back. Quite handily, even. We're not going to get through here. We've got to break through another French line yet. They do not have gas defense. Come on, kill more than that! There we go. You face the British steel. And they roll higher than us. Great. So, RT. Thing is, if they keep rolling higher than us, then we're going to sure. So, this is theirs. There we go. We've got 12 to the 11. Doesn't sound like that much, but it is. You're replenishing. You go. Send the 40 to here. And we'll take the 37 down south. And then when you two are done, I am going to when the guys that replace the support group come up, go to the Channel Islands. Right, I believe you need to replenish. Yes, you do. Go back home. You are okay. One of you needs to go back. Big one O. We'll keep the night watch, and you move up as well. Uh, just keep seeing stuff. This battle will end in our favour. Close, but it'll end in our favour. We've got Kian. France is almost fully sieged. We can influence Romania. Who apparently may even really care of, but you know. That's a lot of demands, holy Christ. Germany wants what? West Galicia and Vesbaki. And Goldland. That's what Normandy. What more Normandy? Where's your. Well, I probably should be working up north, but where's Normandy in this list? It's in there. Okay, that's good. Um, Limousin would be nice. Or so would Brittany. Britannia, yes. This hasn't become a world war. We are playing on Beta Patch. I propose peace. Yeah, there's no way we're doing all that. Return of course to Poland. Take these three out. That'd be 110. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. Might be able to force enough rather than when we finish France off. How are the Germans actually doing on that side? Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Even the Spanish are being the French. I should tell you how bad things are for them. Go over here. Another support stack. The fight starts. Rodez! Oh, finally that one ended. Danish Guard, the Lucky 13s in the 7th. Uh, where are they running to? They're running to... Cahors. Uh Go go on your own. These guys got to pull back. Because they are massacred right now. There's barely any of them left. Yeah, let's have a got a morale boost for winning. So, I like Charlie Sheen right now. Uh, Francy Pants. Netherlands. Take more of you. Why don't we liberate Java? I cost seven, really? Ali. Five? Three. Nothing. Okay. That's not worth it. He's <laughs> got his British tank legion hanging around here for no apparent reason. 
Head down here and head there. I keep calling it Tank Legions, I don't know why. It just sounds fancy on my head, I guess. It's like it's a Tank Legion. No, it's a Tank Group. Get it right, Swift. I don't know where I'm getting Legion from. Sounds fancy, I don't know why. Blah, blah, blah. This is gonna be a this could be a stack wipe. It's gonna speak free. Uh no. It's on the run. Where are they going? Oh neck. Hello. And we're actually on the fence, because we got here first. Oh, I feel so sorry for them. Even the river crossing penalty. Yeah, where do we start taking casualties? Something's not right here. Where are we going to now? It's a month around. That the friend. Hello. I finally got them. I got them too. Then there's Lower Shell. That should be the big 100, great. Okay, what's our, de what's our thing actually worth? If we take these out. 137. Take that out. Most of it doesn't affect them, that's the best bit. Uh, if I take you out. They're at 100 anyway. They haven't lost the war. But they're thinking they have. I could make another demand. Go on then. Uh, what's your next biggest? Uh, Limousin Bretagne. There's Limousin on this list. I don't know where Limousin is. Yeah. Seven war score for that. Oh, we gave land back to Austria. <laughs> oh, we went that the wrong way around. Oh god, we just made Austria stronger. <laughs> uh, well, I suppose. Oh, oh, oh. That's Limousin. Yeah, we can live with it. It's not a bad spot anyway. All our wars pretty much involve the French anyway, so. Yeah. And we got the northern coast, so. Yeah, I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna check this up as a win. Like, we got everything we wanted. We've got the central area we can garrison if we want to. Although, that's probably gonna be the first under attack in any war, so. We're now gonna send a tank region over there. Uh, oh, you bastard. <laughs> Shouldn't let them have that, but okay, I'll let them have it. <clears throat> Otherwise, I think France. Yeah, uh, oh, he's so close. <coughs> so close. <coughs> yeah, they're falling through the ranks. I don't think there's a chance they're going to fall out of the top eight. Not at this rate, anyway. We've got 18 for me to. We've got 18 in for me, which we kind of don't really need to burn off, but I'd rather we did. Uh, head to here and then here. Does that mean you're. Is that old or? I don't know what this means. Head down here. That should be all our armies. Oh wait, Africa. Probably gonna force more out of the Russians if we tried, but is it worth it? Not really. Size, we've got to avoid them. A lot more land for the British Empire. You want us in the war? Confederate liberation of Arizona against Mexico. <clears throat> hmm. I think you can handle that, but you know what? Go on, I'll keep doing it. I'll watch. And you're still fighting the Americans. You're actually winning. So your army's smaller, but you're winning. If you support this, you can actually do some damage. The Americans don't have gas. 
need to be careful because this could turn very awry. Oh, you tried to force me to your sphere? Really? What morons are you? Ah, CSA. Ah, CSA, New England. Now they're killing you with an 81. I'd peace out while you still can. Because this is not going your way. And they know it, they're capitalising. That got reinforced quite a lot. Yeah, okay. I'm say watching. If the CSA is smart, they can actually win this quite easily. There goes the AI. When is it smart? How much do you need for that anyway? Uh, do do do. Not like that much. Thirty-eight. Yeah, you're about halfway there. Yeah, they're smart. They can actually handle the CSA elections quite easily. How are they on reforms anyway? Can you see that? Aeronautics, good. Oh, he's a good one to get. Uh, NCO's would be good. I think it's put speed up. Yeah, NCO field training. Morale up as well. Indirect artillery would be good if we use artillery much longer. Uh, culture to get the prestige. Electric furnace is definitely a good one so we can get stainless steel. We didn't get gas defense, that's the sad thing. <coughs> How we didn't get gas defense, I'll never know. I think I think it was a quick war. Let's hope no one else got it. We did our, we did our share of damage. How are we actually doing? America is at 26% oil exhaustion. The New England is at 3 Wait, are they seating me up? The bastards! I was wondering where you were. Wait, liberating? Oh. Yeah. It works. Like, actually, this actually has an American core. Wait, so you have a core here? Where? They don't. Weird. Okay, for a liberated CB, you have to have a core there. So... How did they... I guess they count as America, so they get the benefit of theirs. Hello? Hong Kong! Be a core. Fascist newspaper. Fascist newspapers began circulating in one of our states. The paper, British Dawn, carries fiery denunciation of everything between heaven and earth, including, but certainly not limited to, <gasps> communists, socialists, liberals, conservatives, foreigners, minorities, women, homosexuals, capitalists, civilians, and criminals. While the paper carries a fair amount of vitriol, it does certainly manage to capitalise fairly well on several of the attitudes that, that are prevalent among fairly broad strata of our society. Whatever that sounds about British society. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's It'll never take hold. You need a lot of milita of militarism for communism and social and fascism to take hold and actually rule the country. So you'll see, like, potentially, you'll see Russia and France go that way. France should have a lot of militarism in their country. I mean, they haven't even burnt off the war exhaustion. You know, that's how bad it is. Um, the Russians. Probably won't because they haven't suffered that much during the game. You might see it, but even though their ideology is mostly conservative, over here it's mostly liberal. It's why I think if you look around, you can see they're mostly liberal. They do become more, more militant as they lose more ground because moralism takes effect. Which do we have moralism? No, we don't. We do have plurality. And look at one slides. You better help us out next time. So yeah, it's it's one of those things where it is helpful. It really does a lot of damage if you do it right. Um, like forcing a country to go fascist actually helps them out, really. Because fascism is one of the most powerful government types in the game. And I'm not saying that lightly. Uh, it does carry the connotation of being a fascist. Which I know a lot of people don't like. So 
Uh, in game, it's probably the most powerful of the group, so I would actually go with it. Although communism is extremely close. I don't just argue that communism and fascism are equal. Uh, mostly because with communism, you actually spread the revolution. In essence, you actually get a chance to uh, go to war with someone to make them communist. Oh, hello! Pan nationals. Great. Uh, no gods. So, I actually. Uh, it really depends on what you're looking for. Fascism is more militant, communism is more um, puppet and spheling focused. Exporting the revolution is actually really good. I need to do a communist playthrough at some point, but I never do get a communist in power. I can need to force it at one point or another. Uh, we haven't seen the red shirts, have we? Denmark, the Ottomans, Egypt, and my soul. Well, that's these guys. Fourth Republican Guard. The Ottomans are suffering from a case of Serbs. Sides so of firepower, electric furnace is done. Let's go have. Let me get one together. Social alienation would be good. Yeah, I guess social alienation. Hoping that's actually. How are we doing for colonies anyway? Tunis has been released. France was forced to release Tunis. Ouch. Yeah, down here. Christ. Who's 8th in the world? Let's just pause it, because to be fair, at this point... Belgium's 9th in the world, they have. Oh, well, not, they're not far behind the Austrians, actually. I don't think we're going to knock the French out of the top 8. We could probably knock the Austrians out. In fact, it looks like they actually knocked the Belgian out, which is interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, we could probably knock Austria out. I doubt we're going to knock the French out. The Russians were definitely going to knock out. I mean, their manpower has come, came back up in no time. Jeez, they've got Great War uh, Zalman's on them as well. Are you pro military or.? Okay, you're pro military, so you do get some bonus. But either way, I'm going to call that there. Next time, let's play Victoria 2. We got a quick war out of the way. We can actually start influencing Switzerland if we want to. But we're going to see how this goes, because there's, there's not a lot of France left. <laughs> I mean, we, we've done a lot more than we thought. I want to say Labord, Aquitaine, just so I can get back to the borders. And uh, the United East 2. And. Well, where is Aquitaine in the list, anyway? Eh, it's not that far down, actually. If I could take one just to link up my empire, like, what's this? Auvergier, Bourgogne, or Languedoc. Languedoc is second on the list. So we're taking Languedoc next war. Which. Oh no, it doesn't link us. It's gotta be Auvergier. Which is what? Uh, quite low. Ow. So. Okay. No, nah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be either Auvergne or Borgog. Auvergne or Borgog. Borgog is high with 80. Yeah, so that's how we're gonna link up our empire. Which the French are gonna be in trouble. And there's a dog bug. So, I'm gonna call that then. The next time we'll be 22, we're gonna carry this on. I'm gonna let him to burn. There's not really a lot left to do. Hello! Yep, white beast. What's so. Um. We've got, what, 20 years left in the game, so we'll see how it goes. I've been Northern Crusader, you've been you. What's going on here? Oi, get out of there. Alright, catch you later, folks. Have a good one.